What's going on everybody? My name is Roscoe and we are back. So today is part two of my breakdown on this epic photo that Ye tweeted out not too long ago. Now this photo is basically showing us all the samples and prototypes on what we can expect for Yeezy footwear. I do believe some of these sneakers will be releasing towards the end of 2020 and also into 2021. Now I did film part one. Now in that video, I covered all of the 700s and the 500s you see in this picture. But today's video, I'm gonna be covering all the back end, all of the slides, in the Yeezy season footwear. Now you guys did have some questions in my part one video that I do want to answer real quick. The first one being about those 700 V2 static. I do believe the 700 V2 static will be restocking, but a lot of you guys were asking, okay, well they released this shoe already, why does Ye need to approve this sneaker again? I think they probably did some minor changes to this shoe. I have heard through the grapevine that they are trying to incorporate more eco-friendly materials on Yeezy sneakers. Maybe there is some slight changes made to this shoe. I know a lot of you guys said that maybe there's a gum sole on the bottom of it, but if you look at the top half, they do have the black toe. Maybe the ones closest to us, we can't really see. Maybe those are gum bottom. I think it's just gonna be slightly different. You know, a change is made to the side of the shoe or even on the back of the heel. You guys also had some questions. How come we're not seeing any 350 V2s? How come we're not seeing any 380s? So this is just one photo. Maybe the 350 V2 sample process isn't ready yet, or maybe he doesn't need to approve anything right now, but I do believe that we're still gonna get 350 V2s. Just because you don't see them in this photo doesn't mean they axed them off and they're never coming back. We also heard that there will be a 350 V3 coming in 2021. You know, maybe we'll see that very, very soon. Let's start off though. We have to talk about some big, big news that there is a Yeezy D Rose sneaker on the way. So let's dive into that. The big news that caught everyone off guard is that Ye posted a picture, giving us a first look at the first signature sneaker of Yeezy and D Rose. Now, of course, as soon as this picture got posted, it got hit with a ton of hate. Kind of find that normal now when it comes to new Yeezy sneakers, but I always will applaud Ye and the Yeezy design team for actually trying to push the sneaker industry in a different direction. It was kind of funny because people didn't even know what they were looking at. I saw some people saying this is a basketball shoe. Some people saying this is the inner lining of another sneaker. What you are essentially looking at is a new clog like sneaker. It's just like the Yeezy foam runners, but it's a new design. Gonna be made out of that same factory in Atlanta, made in the USA, gonna be made out of that same material, that algae foam, and it's probably gonna have that same low retail price of only $75. But I will say the design is very unique and different. A lot of people are saying that this also looks like a fish skeleton, kinda does. It's just these wavy lines, kinda like an accordion, like it definitely does look like some bones, man. But I like it, it's cool. I mean, it's just a clog-like sneaker. I love the foam runners. I think they're super, super comfortable. So if these are gonna be exactly the same, they're just a new design, I mess with it. I'm gonna get them for sure. All the hate that they're getting right now, dude, they're gonna sell out. The Yeezy slides were hated on at first. Now those are reselling for $300. So that's just normal. A lot of people are not used to it. So it's gonna be hit with a lot of hate, but it's just cool, man. They're actually going to do a signature shoe with D Rose. D Rose is a huge Adidas athlete. I mean, he always wears Yeezy sneakers. So it's really cool that they are working together. And that kind of just opens the door for Yeezy. How cool would it be if they do a D Rose quantum basketball sneaker? Like that would be awesome. If they open the door for other people, James Harden. This is definitely gonna open up some doors and I'm super excited. Let me know what you guys think of this Yeezy D Rose. Rumor has it, it's coming very, very soon. As soon as I get more information, I will keep you up to date. But now let's dive into this iconic photo. So I'm gonna start on the right side, right above the 500 lows. You're gonna see some packaging. It's just these plain brown boxes. Now we know about those. Those are the foam runner boxes. But what's interesting is below that, you see these brown bags and it says foam on the top. Are they thinking about shipping out foam runners in these brown bags? It's a possibility. I think sneaker boxes are so overrated, especially if these companies are not gonna give us special boxes. They just take up space. They're useless. You don't wear sneaker boxes. The foam runners are sturdy enough. 
they will probably have to put something in there to maybe you know protect them a little bit but you can bend them you can kind of like move them around they ship them out in these bags I will be okay with it. They just need to put it in another bag or something. People don't try to take them off your doorstep and because they know what they are. But honestly, if they ship them out in bags, I will be okay with that. So I did find that quite interesting in the corner. And then let's move to the left. You see that circle of foam runners? I mean, there's a lot of shades of brown. Starting with some dark chocolate brown, and then it just kind of moves to this light scale all the way down to this wheat golden harvest brown, which I will say, I really like that nice golden brown on the bottom left. I think those would look really, really nice. But let's face it, we all notice it, those red foam runners. What are we gonna call them? The red Croctobers? Woo! Those are fire, drop those. Those need to release. Those are gotta have them, do it all cost. I would pay resale value for those red foam runners. Release them, do it. And then right above it, you have this nice stealth gray. And then there's only one that I noticed that's a two-tone. This one below the red foam runners, there's kind of like this foam runner that has a pink on the dome. And then on the back end, it's kind of like a dark gray or like a stealth black. I thought that one was quite interesting. As you can tell, there's a lot of shades of brown and it looks like we're probably gonna get some more brown foam runners, but let me know what you guys think. Now let's move to the left. You have that little small circle of the Yeezy slides. Now looking at all the colors, I would say a good amount of them have already released. Resin, I see desert sand, I see bone, I see earth brown in there, but there's two new colorways that we're getting first looks at, and that is soot and core. Those are on the bottom right hand side, I guess, is we're probably only gonna get two new colors and we might see some restocks. There's really not much going on. I think the soot and core are definitely two colors to be super excited for. And I've been wanting an all black Yeezy slide for a while now. So we got a good look at those. Now let's go above that right in the middle. It's a big circle. Now this is a new Yeezy foam slide. This I've heard is called the Yeezy 450 Foam slide. And you know it's foam because you have the box right next to it. Now, I heard rumors that this was going to be canceled because of the upper. It's coming in like this web shape form. I heard it breaks very easily, but it looks like they have solved that issue because out of all of the slides and foam runners, I mean, that one's got the most colors going on. I mean, it's a huge circle. I think it's cool. Looking at it, it looks like it's gonna be releasing very soon. My only issue with all these foam runners and slides, I just hope they're not releasing the same color in each one. They drop a bone color in the foam runners, then they drop a bone color in the slide, and then they drop a bone color in this new 450 foam slide. Like, hopefully they mix it up and give us different colors and different options, but there's a lot going on. A couple of them that stand out is those top left. I like all the dark shades of gray. I think those are unique. And then there's like a dark chocolate brown on the right side. I think those are pretty cool as well. But we do got a first look at the new 450 slide. Let me know what you guys think of this new slide. All right, now as we move farther back, it's getting a little bit tricky to tell what some of this stuff is. I believe this is all part of the Yeezy Season 8 and Yeezy Season 9 clothing collection. Now Yeezy Season 8 is women's. Yeezy season nine will be men's. Now we have seen those slides on the left. They were spotted during Paris Fashion Week. The models were wearing those. They had that kind of that rocker vibe and feel to it. Those are on the left side. It looks like those are gonna be releasing soon. But one thing I did find interesting is above that, there is just one single boot. I believe that is the new Yeezy Terex boot. Now it has that sort of military-esque feel and then the upper has this kind of plastic shield with a zipper down the middle. I believe those are gonna be releasing very, very soon. There's only one colorway available right now. So it's either they're releasing that one or they're gonna be thinking about maybe changing it up and working it and kind of, you know, maybe this is a super early prototype and they still need to go back to the lab. Now this will be in fact made by Adidas, which will tell us that the price will be somewhat affordable. I'm excited for this. I love Yeezy boots. Thinking maybe are we gonna get some more tactical boots? This one is gonna be next. Also too, on the far right, you have this little circle of all these black sneakers. I think these are all super early prototypes of newer Yeezys. Now what I found kind of interesting is on the bottom, it has that 500 sole there. So I'm thinking those could be early prototypes of 500 V2s. I don't know, I'm just throwing that out there. I'm just thinking maybe early prototypes, but I would have loved 
a nice closer image of what those are. And then the rest of the stuff just looks like Yeezy season boots. On the top right, those are some crazy winter boots. I think we've seen those already during Paris Fashion Week. Now there's one thing I do wanna point out is that in the middle, on the back, we have seen those. Ye posted a picture of one of them singly. Now these are the Yeezy Torellians, if I'm saying that correctly. Now these are definitely weird and different. Uh, but it looks like it's gonna be a boot or a sneaker. I'm not really 100% sure. It does have that dome shape similar to the foam runners. So maybe kind of has that similar vibe. And then also too, in the middle, it's like a little split, like a gap. Very similar to the Yeezy Season 8 women's slides. Maybe this could be a 380 foam kind of design into one. Now I know these do look a little bit different and out there, but I think these look awesome, kind of stacked on some pants because we have seen Ye wear these already. That is my video for you guys. Let me know down in the comments what you think about these Yeezy foam runners and the slides and all these colors. Are you excited, man? We're gonna be getting so many dope Yeezys, but I wanna hear from you guys down in the comments. My video for you guys today, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button for me and subscribe to the channel. And like always, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.